Good morning. Good afternoon for those of you across the pond. Hello from Refashioned Art. Uh, in uh, back in the Refashioned Art Studio today, um, alas, 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 alas. After uh, about a week and a half away, I am back here and so happy to be back here surrounded by some of my favorite things. This is a brand new one. I did share last week. Did I share? Uh, two or maybe three weeks ago. Actually, you know what? I did this one for an exhibit, so I maybe didn't share it. Um, we'll talk more about that in a moment. Well, guys, I've been spending some time, good amount of time in Northern Arizona. And um, uh, I'll talk more about that at another time. Uh, but it's been so amazing. If you watched my lives last week, I did film from there and I actually, um, don't have a proper studio set up there just yet. So I've been doing work outside. I've been doing on plein air painting. <laughs> not exactly your uh, traditional and plein air painting. I'm not uh, actually painting um, the landscape around me, my surrounds, but I've been working outside uh, in nature and it has been a good amount of nature. Uh, if you saw, I think it was my last live. Gosh, I'm not even totally sure now. Um, yes, uh, last Monday actually, so just over a week ago I did a live and uh, it started thundering on me. I actually didn't get rained on on that one, so that was good because I had newly uh, freshly painted uh, work right outside in the elements, so that would have been ruined. Um, and then I was literally scared out of my mind by a cat, a neighborhood cat. Uh, a big, big old cat. I mean, honestly, it scared me and I shared it in the video because it was like priceless. It really was funny. Um, it just, <laughs> just kind of like shook me for a moment. Um, I actually did think because of the size of it and because it like came up so quickly, like literally snuck out of nowhere up on me. I thought it was like maybe a bobcat because we do get those there, but um, it was just a super extra large, I'm bushy, black cat. Um, so anyway, it was kind of funny. Um, and I will share guys. So back to this one, this one here is hi, Ed. I was just talking about the black cat that scared the life out of me. Thanks for joining. Hey, what's up store. Um, so this one here, guys, this one here, I made for a very specific pur purpose. This one is blackout Two. black. The original blackout went to James judge. He shared that in some of his um, photo shoots in one of his homes uh, at the house judge here on Instagram if you want to check that out. Um, so I made this one here. This one is larger, nice thick canvas. This is Blackout 2. And so when I was up north, I shared um, what I thought was going to be Blackout 3. And one of my followers actually shared a really good suggestion. She said, why don't you name it Black Cat? Because I was literally scared out of my mind by a black cat as I was showing that piece. And very fitting, this black kind of kind of looked like the coat of this big black cat. So um, there is not a Blackout 3 currently. It is called Black Cat. Um, that one will be coming soon. If you want it, please DM. It's smaller than this, but it's a super thick canvas. It's probably like six inches deep, which is really, really cool. I love those super thick canvases. Um, and then this one here, guys, just wanted to share. This one is one of the, it's actually, I mean, it's a while ago. This is a refashion resculpt, and this one is made with denim. It's made with denim discards. Um, love it, love it so much. I'm gonna move this in a little bit. Sorry, I apologize, it's not ideal setup here. So yeah, we've got some denim on there. That one is available for purchase, if you are interested. Um, I'm surrounded by so many cool things here, guys. It's just kind of like a little, I'm like a little kid in a candy store because I haven't been here for over a week but it's really fun to be back. And so guys, I actually wanted to share, love the belt. Um, well, this, uh, since you mentioned, this was one of my recent um, thrift store finds. Super proud of this because it's just gold plated belts. It's kind of like my Wonder Woman look and I just love these so much. And it was just such a blessing that I found another one 
Um, I did find this at a thrift store. Um, it was the DAV thrift store. Um, all of the money from the proceeds of that store goes towards veterans, which is really amazing and makes me want to just um, shop there more because when you're shopping for a cause, you know you're helping others. So um, this was a lucky find and it was only three dollars perfect condition i'm super excited about it oh and guys have to mention so this top this is a custom design it's actually upcycled design by amanda jacobs um she she's just so amazing guys please follow her i will put this in my feed although it is in my feed it is in my stories um i will share this again in my stories later today just so you have her handle her brand is classic reclaim here on instagram it's at classic underscore reclaim she's just amazing she's a brilliant mind she's um a newly emerging designer and i feel like she's so talented she's got just an incredible career she's made numerous pieces of me um actually i should say she's remade because she's taken apart things uh this was another this was from another uh garment of mine and she took it apart and this was one of the pieces she made me she added these um straps which I love so much. I just love it. So guys, please follow Amanda Jacobs at classic underscore reclaim. More to come on that. And oh, I did um, I did a really cool branding photo shoot with uh, photographer Kavan, who is actually here in Phoenix. Super excited to be connected with him and I will share his uh, uh, Instagram handle in my, uh, my stories afterwards as well. So I did a photo shoot with him a couple weeks ago uh, actually here in the studio, which was so fun. And I actually wore this top with a custom design skirt by Amanda Jacobs as well. So if you saw my post in my feed yesterday, I was wearing this top. It looks very different um, styled with the skirt as I had it for the photo shoot. But today I have it with a pair of high waist um, trouser jeans. I will share photos of the full look uh, in my stories later today. But um, yeah, I'm just loving this. And Amanda, I promised you I would show how versatile this was because it definitely is like super glam and uh, you know, just fun to really dress up and you know, style it up, but also fun to style it down with a pair of jeans um, or you know, these wide leg trouser pants such as this. So really fun. Um, so let me see, what else can I share with you guys? I'm back here in Phoenix and I am in the studio and I'm excited to do some new work, uh, but I've got a lot of work to sell guys. So if you're looking for art, um, you know, all my originals are made using repurposed materials. Uh, everything is rather modern, some a little more avant-garde, such as the Refashion Resculpt series. Um, but it's abstract art, it's contemporary art. It's uh, very unique and I guarantee you won't find anything else like it anywhere else. And since I am, since I do still consider myself a newly emerging artist, I guarantee you that my prices are extremely, extremely um, reasonable, maybe even under that, under so, maybe even underpriced, but you know, I, you gotta start somewhere. So guys, if you do want art, please reach out to me. Um, a lot of what I have available is on my feed unless it has sold, um, or of course, <laughs> maybe I decided I might need to keep it myself, which I'll admit happens often. I definitely struggle with attachment issues. I don't know if that's like a new artist thing or what, but um, anyways, yes. Um, hello, Judith, how are you? Um, yeah, so guys, want to get on here also if you do have questions about my work, about art, fashion, um, you know, upcycling, sustainability, styling, uh, even personal growth, which is a huge part of everything that I've ever done in my entire, uh, not even adult life, really my entire life. Uh, it goes way back before adulthood. Um, even health, because I've been sharing some of that a bit lately. It's uh, always been a really important topic for me. I've had my own health journey and health struggles. And I uh, actually did go to school for kinesiology and exercise science. That is my degree uh, way back when, a different life. And I did work in that field for many, many years before um, moving into styling and coaching. And um, now I guess you'd say I'm an artist. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got all the work to prove it. So, um, oh yeah, two other things, guys. I have some works in progress. Um, this one is not done. I'm kind of like trying to decide where do I want to go with this one next. 
so many options. I'm actually thinking of maybe adding some text onto the front, but leaving the back the same. Open to suggestions. Of course, I love hearing your suggestions for names, guys. Um, like my follower that gave me the tip off for um, the black cat piece. That was brilliant, and I love it. Also, this one here, guys, just put a little base. Where do I go with this one next? Where do I go next? And another one here. Uh, I thought this one was done, but I'm thinking of maybe adding either some splatter, maybe some text. If you have suggestions, let me know. Or if you want this baby, love the depth of this canvas, reach out. Let me know. It's available. Actually, it's kind of cool. Ooh, I do kind of like that. I do have a frame for this one. You know, I don't like that as much. I really love this. And I really love that. Let me know, guys. Love to hear your feedback. Love to hear your suggestions. Art is so subjective and everybody, you know, is coming from their own map and everyone has a different perspective on what's art and what's not. But I love hearing your feedback. So please, please don't hesitate to DM me. Um, just love connecting here, guys, which is why I'm on here because it's a huge part of this work, just making connections and seeing what kind of good we can do in the world. But um, I really want to keep this short and sweet, so I think that's all I'm going to share today. Uh, all of my lives and all of my videos, they do go on my IGTV here. Um, if they're not long enough to go, if they're under a minute and they're not going in the IGTV, they're probably in my feed. Or always check my YouTube, guys. Uh, just search Laura Madden and it should come up. But even more of my videos go on there. Um, let me see, what else can I say? That's it. If you're not following me on my other Instagram, at I am Laura Madden, share more of my fashion uh, work there, which I'll admit is dwindling a little bit. It's getting smaller and smaller because more and more of my focus and my time and energy is going into my art. And you know, it's just a sign of the times and uh, that's okay, but I still am on at I am Laura Madden. I share a little bit more of my personal life maybe there, if I'm going to at all. Um, and of course, you guys know I'm a huge rescue dog. Uh, rescue animal advocate so you can always follow my rescue babes there um, on their Instagram it's at two underscore pretty underscore birds that's where you can see my two pretty birds um, which are rescue pups all right guys website is shop.imlurmadden.com shop.imlurmadden.com link is in the bio for prints and my art merchandise or you can check out all of my originals i did get it updated not fully but it's a lot more updated guys so new work on imlurmadden.com forward slash art and that's also link in bio just click on shop originals and Voila, it is all right there. All right, guys, I will see you later. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for all your feedback. Yes. <laughs> all right, guys, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.